All right, guys, as promised, here are the two Matthews bows, the VXR from 2020 and the V327 here from 2021. And uh, as you can see, these are what they look like up close together. Um, again, both great shooting bows. You can see the major difference uh, being in the center guard, um, this one being straight across and this one being the new angle where they uh, take it down. So that's the biggest difference there. Obviously there's a difference in size, 28 inch to 27 inch axle axle. Uh, but we'll jump to the specs here in a second just to show you guys the difference in tech between the two bows. Also I can cut to all the different shots we've done with these bows give you an idea how they shoot and you know how they sound uh, compared to each other as well as the speeds we can show you the speed test for both these bows now uh, I do want to say that either one of these bows are really good bows and uh, Matthews has had a great run with the VXR it was a very popular bow last year and now going to the V3 I don't think you're gonna see any difference there I do think you're gonna see some interest in whether a VXR shooter will switch the V3 or if you're gonna get new Matthews shooters shooting the V3 um, or continually buying the VXR because they want a 28 specific size. Uh, same cam system as you can see. Um, risers are very similar. I see a few differences in the cutouts, not anything major. Um, either way you go with this guys, I don't think you're gonna be hurting, you know. VXR or V3, it's up to you guys. They're both can be available right now, so you still have the chance to, um, uh, this is the 31, and I'm going to speed test it at 29 inches of draw, 70 pounds. First arrow at 350 grains. 325. 450 grains. 296. 550 grains. 266. And 687 grains. 239. All right, guys, the V3, 27 inch. This is uh, 20 inch to draw 70 pounds. First arrow, 350 grains. 333. Next arrow, 450 grains. 301. Next arrow, 550 grains. 270. Last arrow, 687 grains. 244. All right guys, we're speed testing the VXR. This is the 28 inch model. We are shooting this at 70 pounds, 29 inch draw. And uh, this first arrow is 350 grains. 327 feet per second. Next arrow is 450 grains. 286 feet per second. Our next arrow is 550 grains. 267 feet per second. And our last one is our big arrow. 687 grains, big boy. All right, 240 feet per second. 31.5 inch model. Uh, we are shooting this at 70 pounds, 29 inch draw length, and uh, the first arrow is 350 grains. 323 feet per second. All right, our next arrow is the 450 grains. 284 feet per second. Our next arrow is 550 grain arrow, so it's very heavy. 263 feet per second. Next arrow is the All-American, we call it, the 687 grain arrow. Big boy. 237 feet per second.
All right, guys, here are the final stats of the Matthews bows. These are the uh, V3 to the VXR. Now, there's a lot of, you know, I mean, these bows are very similar, and it makes sense. You have a 27, uh, 28, a 31, and a 31.5 if you're going by axle axle sizes. Um, but in this case, you can see clearly that um, the V327 will be your fastest bow uh, with the same scenarios. Um, that bow, and what I did is I kind of like totaled up the sum of the 350, 450, 550, and 687. I made a total of that uh, where it says sum FPS, and that's 1148 to 1126 to 1120 to 1107. So it goes kind of right in order of the faster bows. The V3s are faster um, than the VXR, so it depends on what you're looking for in the scenario. Uh, speed would definitely fall with the V3 series. Um, now, uh, price point, if you look at the VXR28, it has come down, uh, according to the Matthews website, to $100. So it said $10.99 MSRP, so that might be an option as well. But so you can see the speeds there. The test weight was 70 pounds, 20 inches of draw. Um, again, best speed was with the V3. Now, if we go down to the MSRP, again, everything's equal except for that VXR28, which is $100 less right now. So when we look at the physical weight, of the bows um, you can see very clearly um, that the 27 is the lightest bow and it makes sense right it's it's an inch shorter i get that part but uh if we look at the vxr 28 that one's not too bad as well uh 4.44 um, so i mean there's a nice array of range of weights there that you can work with when we look at um, brace height it's even across all of them they also all have the same cross center cam they have the same engaged grip um, obviously there's a couple tech differences with the center guard and the uh, new nano um, stabilizer so that those two things are different so you are getting a little bit new tech on the v3 series so it might be worth the extra hundred bucks um, at that point for you but we have to look at some other important factors number one the draw weights they're all equal here for the most part i think they're actually identical um, the draw lengths are different so it this all depends where you fall but if you're at a 30 uh, or, or longer you have to specifically go with the other models so the 30 the v331 goes up to 30.5 whereas the vxr 31.5 will get you to that 31 so i know a lot of shoes are 31 so that they would have to go to the vxr 31.5 pretty cool guys i think the stats show a lot here and uh to be honest it makes it really hard on the decision on which one to get in my opinion um if you could fit in the v3 i would just get the v3 if you already have a vxr i'm not so sure i would upgrade at this point but you you have that option it's there in front of you you know and and um being that they're the same price the v3 uh like the v331 the v vxr 31.5 i'd probably get the v the v3 because you're getting the new tech out of it um so it could be worth it in that sense thanks for watching boner planet we'll see you guys next time i hope you learned something today and uh make sure you click that subscribe button hit like we'll see you soon